Hi, good morning. It is Sunday morning and we're so glad that you uh, are joining us. I'm Amanda and you have tuned in to the uh, children's sermon for Monroeville United Methodist Church and uh, <clears throat> just so glad to have you join us uh, this morning and we know that you could be anywhere right now but uh, we're glad that you're here. Uh, so do any of you uh, collect things? Like maybe you collect stamps, maybe you collect coins, maybe um, <clears throat> you collect craft things, right? There's all kinds of things that people, that people collect. Well, one of the things that I like to do, and I don't know that I would call it a collection, but I collect magnets <clears throat> from the different places that I go. So whenever I go somewhere, I try to buy a magnet um, as a way to remember the places that I have gone. And I think that's better than a keychain or a pen or, oh, you can't hear me. I hope everybody else can hear me. Um, I'll turn. Okay, if anybody else can't hear me, go ahead and put that in the, the chat. Anyway, um, so we are, uh, so I collect these magnets and, uh, as a way to just be, you know, reminded of all the places I've gone. So here are some that I have, all right, I just picked a couple off of my, off of my fridge. So I think everyone's familiar with this one, all right? So this is my magnet from Disney World and... This, let's see, this is my magnet from the aviary. So even when I go list local places, um, I, I still keep them. And then this is my magnet that I got all the way in Zimbabwe and brought it back. And so those are just some of what I have. I have one from Chicago on my fridge. I have one from the zoo. Um, all, all the places that I've gone, I try to bring back a magnet. But have you ever played with magnets? Because they're, they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool to learn about and, and to um, play with. But we know that with magnets, um, certain types of metal attract to the magnet, right? So even, even two magnets will stick together, right? Depending on, there's a lot of science involved, but we'll keep it simple, right? Depending on uh, how you have the magnet turned, right? Sometimes the two magnets will stick together, right? So I have some objects here. We're gonna see if they will stick to my magnet. So first I have this little Lego keychain. So the Lego part, that's not gonna stick because that's plastic, right? But if I get this just close enough, it will, I promise you, it does stick. There you go, <laughs> right? So uh, the metal part of the magnet sticks. And I know you can't necessarily experience it, but when I'm sitting here, I can feel this being drawn into the magnet, all right? Another thing that really works are paper clips. So I have some paper clips here, and uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to do this on the phone, but there, you see, all the paper clips got stuck to the magnet. They were, they were attracted to the magnet. They were drawn into the magnet. And then I have one more thing. This is like a little, um, you know, gift card tin case from, from GameStop that Samuel has. And so, and it sticks. The magnet sticks to the, the little box, right? And so when you get these objects closer to the magnet, it draws it in and pulls it, pulls it to the magnet. And that's called attraction. Um, in that the, the metal objects are attracted to the magnet, right? Well, Jesus talks about that. Actually, not about magnets, <laughs> but uh, in, in John chapter 12, which Pastor Ed's going to share later, uh, in verse 32, it says, and this is Jesus speaking, but I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. Right? Jesus draws people in. Jesus attracts people to him, just like our magnets draw other metal right to it. And if I had a more powerful magnet, you'd be able to really tell. You'd be able to really see it. And 
So Jesus' attraction and his ability to draw us to himself is much stronger than any magnet that we could ever have, that we could ever use. And even now, Jesus is drawing you closer. Jesus is uh, pulling you in. As we approach Holy Week next week, um, that God just loves you. God wants to be with you. And, uh, and, and that's why Jesus is able and, and wants to draw us closer to him uh, because he knows uh, who we are and who we can be when we uh, are close to him and we follow him. So whenever you see a magnet, whether it's a fancy magnet or just a simple one that's on your fridge, uh, think about how Jesus draws us and, and attracts us, right? Just like the paper clips here. Uh, to to himself and uh, think about this week how much uh, Jesus really really loves you and wants to be close to you that's your challenge for this week so uh, I hope you all have a wonderful wonderful week and uh, next week we'll we'll be dig- digging into Palm Sunday and it's already Holy Week it's hard to under it's hard to believe that um, but we hope that you'll continue to join us through our our, our journey through Lent And uh, let's pray before we go. Lord God, we are grateful that you draw us to you. That it's not about what we do, but it's about who you are. And Lord, we just ask that during these next few weeks as we wrap up Lent and enter the Easter season, that you will draw us closer to you. That you will get rid of the things that are blocking us uh, from growing closer to you. And that, uh, Lord, we will just be reminded of how much you love us. And it is in your name that we pray. Amen. Have a great week, everybody. See you later.